let's acknowledge first that we are moving more and more people on rail. So we have two challenges at the same time, the increase of the capacity and of course the highest level of safety and security for our trains and for our people. So it's important that regulators, operators and industry work all together to put in fact the requirements into the design of the product that we will operate and maintain. I can see today a very positive trend and we need to continue to do, to do more. And of course, technical and legal standards play a huge role in making transportation safe and secure. From a global player's perspective, where is more harmonization needed to further improve that safety and security? We can see that it is a major challenge for the industry. And we have already started a significant development with the new European train control system and the European rail uh, traffic management system. And we need to continue to do even more on other matters such as cyber security. So here I encourage again the decision makers and also the operators to frame a long-term plan to significantly improve safety and security into standardization bodies and also into their legal framework to operate uh, public transportation. Do you see digitalization and innovation as increasing the safety of the rail industry or, or do you view them as risks? So it's definitely an opportunity. Uh, each time we have integrated new technology uh, into the transportation system, we have at the same time um, increased the, the safety and the security. We have done that in a very reactive mode. Now the challenge we have is bringing new technology. It's not too much the issue. The challenge is to sustain it over the lifetime of the train and the infrastructure. So it's important that we have a long-term planning of Zoo's solution and how much technology will evolve in this frame. So that's the challenge we have and we are looking forward to developing this with our customers and with regulators. You've been a major sponsor and supporter of the International Transport Forum over many years. Why is this event so important? For Bombardier it's a unique opportunity to discuss with uh, key decision makers who are influencing in fact regulation and uh, capital investment and for us it's a unique opportunity to say rail is a very traditional and modern industry. We were here 175 years ago and we will be there in 175 years. So we are just conveying the message of optimism to all those decision makers.